What's up, everybody? It's your boy Elijah Johnson. I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm here with Langston Love. What it do, what it do, what it do, it's me, L-O-V-E. You already know what it is. And today, I got my brother, my old teammate from high school. Hey, he got a story to tell. Um, and so, I know it looks a little different, but we're going to get into that. But uh, go ahead and tell him about yourself real quick and let him know about you. All right, my name is Elijah Johnson. I'm 25. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I do tattoos, I got a clothing brand, and I'm also a barber. And I still need to get my tat from you. I need to get my tat. <laughs> Look, I, I told him, I told him, I was like, I, I, need a, I need to finish my sleeve. I need to finish my sleeve. But anywho, um, so today we're just going to be, like I said, we're going to be trying something a little different. Um, he's going to actually cut my head as we're doing this interview. Um, so this is going to be a whole different experience for me, but I wanted y'all to see the real the real barber in Elijah, you know? So um, first let's go into, let's go into like your, your upbringing and where, where you're from, um, high school, football, cause you know we play football together, um, college, all that. So talk to us about that a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. Um, I played football, high school football at Taste Creek High School. Mm -hmm. um, after that I went to Kentucky State University to play football. Um, heard that yeah and that kind of led me to where I am today so talk to me about your experience being a student athlete like how was that because you know like when you you know because I you know I ran track at U of L said that in previous interviews and all that but so tell me about what it was like at a HBCU if you don't know historic historically black college that's what a HBCU is some people might not know hopefully in 2023 you do know if you don't you slipping. Um, but go ahead, tell them about, you know, just that experience. Yes, um, HBCU, as he said, historically um, black college. Um, it's kind of crazy. Um, my journey there was pretty decent. I can't really say too much because um, I did drop out to do the things that I wanted to do now. But OK, so um, so with that, why did you drop out? Uh, to really just chase my dreams, my actual dreams and going to school really wasn't my dream. I was just going to school to play football. Mm -hmm. So I ended up dropping out my sophomore year. Okay, so you know a lot of times, like you know how people like, a lot of people say, oh, I don't have to go to college right. to be successful. And I'm looking at you and I'm like, okay, one, you do tattoos. You can make money off of tattoos. You can cut hair. And there are some people that go to college that would never even obtain those skills. So what do you, how do you feel about chasing dreams? Like, if you could say something to somebody, like, you know, it, maybe college isn't your, you know, your choice. Maybe you want to just go chase your dreams and do whatever, like, do what makes you happy, do what you love, do what you're passionate about. So what advice would you give to a 15-year-old or a 14-year-old, whoever, um, that kind of is like, oh, I'm in middle school, I'm in high school, or I'm about to go to this, make this transition. Like, what, what would you say to them to kind of pursue? I would say if, 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 you got, if you have the grades to go to school, go to school, because you can get your school paid for. But um, yeah. if you aren't so serious about school, you don't have the grades, and you have to put yourself in debt to go to school, I don't think it's worth it. I feel like you should find a trade or... Um, something where you don't have to really put yourself in debt, but you can also still achieve all of the things that you're trying to achieve. Okay, got you. But always stay stay pushing, stay motivated, and um, just keep it moving. Keep it, keep it moving, you <laughs> keep know, life, moving. life goes on. Right, all right, so on that note, now we're gonna go into the next segment, and he's actually gonna be cutting my hair in this interview, and we're gonna talk a little bit about, you know, barber school, how he does his approach in cutting hair, how he does the fades, how he does the lineups. So we can go ahead and get it, get it shaking. Let's go. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right, so as we go in, so tell me, about, um, tell me about barber school and how that was for you, uh, how long you've been doing it, you know, just all the processes you got to go through it and things like that. Um, so barber school, I went to um, the Lexington Academy of Barber down here in Lexington. Okay. Um, it's a 10-month program. Um, it's a $12,000 program. You pay $1,200 the first of every month. Okay. Um, and you complete your course. So what made you 
like, because I know for me, I always wanted to go to, like for me, I always wanted to go to like film school at some point or like a music school. Um, there's a there's a school in, uh, where is it, where is it? I think it's, I think it's in, somewhere in Florida, I believe. Um, and they basically teach you how to make videos, make pictures. Mm -hmm. But what made you kind of made that make that decision to where, hey, I want to go to school for this. I got to learn how to do this craft and do it the right way. Because a lot of there's a, a lot of barbers that I know that just cut hair on the side. But you went to school, you got your degree, or yeah, I'm, I'm assuming is it a degree yeah. that you get? Okay, oh, yeah. so it's like you get your degree in cutting hair. So like, what made you make that decision? Like, yeah, this is what I want to do. Was it the money? Was it the passion? Was it like, what was it for you? Um, it definitely wasn't the money. The money's good, but um, honestly, from where I just been cutting hair for so long, I fell, I just fell in love with it. Okay. And um, just continued to just kept pushing, and I just really just fell in love with it. And, and now I can just do this every single day. So what makes what makes you fall in love with it? Is it like just being able to see, you know, when you finish the haircut? Like, uh, oh, really? You know what I'm saying? I, I would like, say when I when I finish the haircut, um, also just seeing. The kids' reaction. The adults don't really give um, too much reaction. Right, because they. Just, but they'll they'll tip normal. you. They'll, they'll tip you very well. Yeah. Um, but kids' reactions on their faces um, really just brights up, especially when you give them like a nice design or mm -hmm. whatever it may be, you know. And you, one thing I'll say about haircuts, and I think, especially, especially as a black man, when you go to the barber shop, mm -hmm. you know you have them like. You have them times at some at some point. You have those times where it's like, I know my hair looks rough right now, yeah. but when you get that haircut, you walk out there and you like, you hey, you I'm fly. cool. I can talk. I can go. I can go out. I know she gonna want to talk to me. I look good. I'm yeah. fine. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Um, but uh, that's one thing I think about haircuts, and even just being in the barber shop. Which I'm, let's talk about that actually. What do you think about barbershop culture? Because you know how it is when you're in a barbershop. You have those real, like, men, like, grown men talks, like, ah, oh, this is what we, you know, yeah. just conversations and just, you know, really, really kind of just, just being free. Because when I, I remember when, uh, when I was growing up, like, just being younger, I would go into the barbershop that my dad took me to. And uh, they'd be talking about a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I would be a little kid. I'm like, I'm, I don't even know I'm, I'm, if I'm supposed to be hearing this right now. But <laughs> it is one of those things that that's just a part of the culture of yeah. going into a barbershop um, and being able to have those, those conversations. Um, so I think that's really cool. Um, but let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about your, uh, we got your tattoo business as well. So as he's cutting, again, one thing I always say is, don't put people in a box. Yeah. And this man right here, let me look at this camera. This man right here, he ain't in the box, okay? He got a lot of stuff going on. Not just, he don't, he don't just cut hair. So don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. But, um, but yeah, so talk about your tattoo business, right? So how long have you been doing, doing tattoos? So I've been tattooing about... Um Five years, I say, mm -hmm. about five years. I'm also started in college. Um, really, at the time, it was just to try to make some money, um, ain't being in college, uh, and I just really just stuck to it afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, I was picking up the clients, the clients that I wanted, with just tattooing, um, and I just continued to chase that dream of tattooing. I want to say something, but he's doing my mustache right now, so I can't say, <laughs> I can't say nothing. I had to wait. I had to wait. We talked about the barbering. We've talked about the tattoos. But with all that, and we have one more, one more thing that is a little surprise. If you know, you know. You got to pay attention, though. Uh, oh, that's that rhyme, too. If you yeah. know, you know. You got to pay attention, though. I'm, hey, it's DJ Love. I make music, too. Don't know. Yeah. Um, but no, so how do you feel about balancing all your different talents and all the things that you are, like all the businesses, especially like you said in the intro, you're an entrepreneur. So how do you balance all these, all these different aspects that, you know, all these different talents that you're doing? 
Uh, really, honestly, if I had to say, um, it's actually kind of hard. Yeah, facts. Believe it or not, facts. <laughs> but I feel like if you if you if you really want something in life, you're gonna find a way to be able to make balance mm -hmm. in your actual life and then your business life as well. Right. Um, you gotta find balance all all around life, you know. Right. So, um, just being an entrepreneur, just trying to hustle everything. Like every day, I don't have a tattoo appointment. Every day, I don't have a haircut appointment. Mm -hmm. On those days when I don't have appointments or I'm just just kind of hanging out, I'm either making content, right, um, posting content um, to keep my audience engaged. Right. So let's talk about content. So, <clears throat> how do you like? What's your what's your your uh, your plan, or how do you go about putting out your content um, as a barber? Because you know, with music, you know, it's like I'm just going back to that. But it's like with music, you know, you have a song, you got a video, you got this. But when you're cutting hair, it's like, okay, what do I just do the intro, or like a not an intro, but like a, just like a snippet of me doing a lineup? Do I do introduce the person, the person I'm cutting? So like, what's your What's your way of like putting out content as far as being a barber? Uh, normally what I do is, is um, I will make a quick little snippet of the, the haircut that I have recently just did. Mm -hmm. And I would just get like a good, ang get the good angles of the haircut. And gotcha. then um, I would normally just put like a music background to it. Right. Well, a mu uh, like a, a song that's trending Something or that's a song trending. that's yeah, popping yeah, yeah. and I'll mm -hmm. put that song with my, with my video. With the cut, with the with the hair, with the yep, with the video. Um, All right, cool. So and I post it, and I normally right. use like my hashtags and stuff like that to get my views, um, my followers, all of that one good stuff. Got you. So with that, now we're gonna kind of get into what we're doing right now. So what are you doing right now with my head? Like what's what so right what, what we doing? The fade? Like what we so got right going on? Right now you, uh, I'm doing a ball taper. Okay, ball taper. Um, yeah. And so what's the process in doing that? Like, do you, like, kind of break it down? Because I know you were just in, bar like, barber school. So yeah. when they had, when they taught you how to do this, what was the things that they're telling you on how this is how you need to do this fade or if you want to get this look, that kind of thing? Uh, more so just just keep cutting, keep blending, really. And until you can see in that eye of perfection in your eyes, mm -hmm. um, just keep fading. So that's interesting. And in all my interviews, so excuse me, y'all, but I'm always gonna go back to music. But even in music, like I, I listen to music, and sometimes I don't know everything that I'm doing as far as because I engineer my own stuff. Like I always right. be recording my own stuff. And I've had a lot of people give me advice, tell me, "Oh, this is how you're supposed to do this. If you wanna, if you want this to sound like this, do this." But I also just listen to my ear. So for you with cutting. Is it like um, I'm I'm cutting with my eye? Like I can't sit here and just like every head I'm cutting ain't gonna be the same. Every, like, and for me, every song I make, it's not gonna be the same. Definitely. So you kind of have to, you know, what I'm saying you gotta like see what it like see where it's going and then go from there. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah. As far, like to, an, know, to an extent, because you still so, have a, a, a formula to follow. But yeah, more so because everybody has a different shaped um, head, mm -hmm. hair textures. Um, all of that plays a factor. Um, so, got you. You know, uh, what I'm really trying to say is, is basically every head, I mean, every step to fading is the exact same. Mm -hmm. um, it's just depending on what style they're trying to get, if that makes sense. Okay, no, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Because it's almost like when you say style, it's like everybody has a certain look. Yeah. And not everybody's look is the same. Correct. But some people want to have that same style, but it's like, ooh, change this look a little bit. Correct. It's almost like listening to, um, like listening to a, a, maybe I'm saying it wrong, but like a little baby. People want to sound like, rappers want to sound like little baby, but they want to have their own flow. Yep. It's like, ooh, I like that beat. I like how he kind of approached that, like he's rapping like, but it's like maybe a and you change it up just a little bit to make it your own, you know, your own your own sauce, you know. So that's that's interesting to see too. Um, but uh, so let's talk about. 
Um, now we're gonna go into your clothing brand, and we're gonna have to make. Yeah, y'all see it? I can't talk. I'm gonna keep this in the video too, cause y'all gonna laugh at it. I gotta hit that look, man. Y'all gonna laugh at it. <laughs> y'all gonna, gonna look. Y'all gonna laugh at it, but you it's look cool. Look. I told look. you it's raw, unscripted, uncut. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, man, I forgot what I was about to say. Um, but no. Oh yeah, we we're gonna talk about um, the everyday drip, man. Let's get into the clothing brand. So tell me about that, and we can take a little pause on the cut. Just so you can just just to show them the just show them what you got first. We're gonna look at this camera right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna so look at this camera. Everyday drip is my brand. Yep. Um, what what uh, you dripping every day? What, what, uh, we drip. <coughs> you dripping every day? Drip drip drip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Came through dripping. Drip drip drip. If you know, you know. Shout out to Cardi B. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So uh, how you said it's been how many how many about years? three months. Three, oh, three months. Had, okay, okay, okay. Got you. So I've had my and so uh, where can they find you? On with your clothing um, brand, we're gonna hit that real quick and we can get on back to Instagram. The you can spell out everyday drip exactly how it is. Okay, um, my website is the same way everydaydrip.com. Yeah, I see it, those, those are the ways, or you can follow my main Instagram at real ej, and the link is in my bio. But all right, cool. So let's talk about this and we can get, get back into it. Um, so talk about how it is being a dad, let's talk about that, okay, you know. Um, and your, just your experiences and maybe how that's changed you, mold you into, you know, maybe who you are today. Um, cause I know at one point for me, I was able to, I don't, I never had a, a child myself, but I was in a relationship that, um, I did, I was able to kind of be with somebody that did have a child and, um, I learned a lot through that situation, but tell me what you feel like with it being your, your child, like, you know, how it, how it is with your daughter and everything like that. I feel like it's made me who I am today. Um, the grind that I have, the hustle that I have, mm -hmm. the mindset that I have, it's all changed me into a better person. Um, I don't think if I didn't have my daughter, I don't think I'd really be an entrepreneur like I say I am, you know what I'm saying? Um, Cause it's like, you gotta work. Now you gotta, like you have something to work. I have something to work for. for. You know. Um, yeah, but work for and work towards. Work too. towards, because it's like you to know give you her have that a, life that you she know you wants. have a you have a future for her that you know that Definitely. you want to give. Um, but yeah, that's that's one thing that I can always respect. And um, shout out to all the parents out there. And that's one thing <clears throat> that I've learned over the last couple of years is sometimes and whether 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 it be a a child, whether it be money, whatever it is. You have to find something that's going to, that's going to motivate you. Um, so if you're starting a new business, stick to it. It's like this is what I'm starting. I gotta, I'm motivated to keep doing this, keep pushing, and let people know that I'm the best at this. If it's me being, I'm gonna be the best for him. It's like, or for you, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be the best dad, in like in the world, or I'm gonna be the best barber. I'm gonna be the best tattoo artist. I'm gonna have the best clothing brand. Um, so I think that's really important. Um, as far as just, uh, you know, just being motivated and having a perp, having your purpose. That's what I'm trying to say. It's having your purpose is really important. And for me, I ain't gonna lie, like I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. Um, I know that I, there's a lot of different lanes that I could go into. And I'm, as, I'm, as we're talking, I'm seeing, I'm looking at the teleprompter right now, cutting hair, barber school, Tattoo, got the um, clothing brand. For me, I'm like DJ, artist, doing all this other stuff. Uh, videographer, doing, uh, I guess, an interview host. But I think the only way for us to find our purpose is to try different things. I feel like we're all talented at something, you know what something, I'm saying? Yep. So it's like, why limit yourself to just cutting hair? There's one thing. <laughs> like, that's, that's like I, I, can, I can sit here and I can go do a tattoo in an hour or two hours and get that done. Then boom, all right, I got an appointment on, at three o'clock, gotta do this. Um, so that's one thing I'm, you know, I'm big on is just opening up yourself to new things. Um, but on that note, I'm gonna let Definitely. you, I'm gonna let you keep cutting. I know I gotta, now I gotta be still. We about to get to the lineup. We about to get to the lineup now. Um, but yeah, we're about to, uh, we're almost finished with this interview. Um, but again, uh, 
man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. And uh, at this point, y'all gonna see in the video, we're just gonna let y'all see a little bit of the process in this haircut and in this lineup. So on that note, let's go.